going to the our subject okay our subject is design of machine elements design of machine element if you want to design any machine elements okay some of the considerations we want considerations and strength some of the specifications in our subject there are the six chapters okay in first chapter is our first chapter introduction introduction and uh, bones nuts and screws in this introduction what is the importance of the drawing design okay what are the importance of the design already already i uh, discuss we discuss importance of the design of machine element if you want manufacture pro production of the any machine component element we want a first a design okay after that we go for the manufacturing machines okay next uh, in this one in this first chapter what are the design factors are there okay design factors some of the design factors like uh, load safety specifications materials selection of materials and uh, next uh, load strength since next uh, cost these are our the design factors next uh, coming to the materials what are the materials are we are using if you if you one of the example is uh, like a pen pen is uh, one of the one of the object okay if you want pro manufacture and produce the pen we want the type of the materials if if a low cost then we take low cost material okay like plastic or any the any material there are so many materials are there okay depending upon type of product we are using different materials like example cast iron is there one of the material next steel next copper aluminum plastic these are all materials okay next coming to the design procedure okay what is the design procedure uh, already i explain already I, i told that the design procedure okay in our subjects is also one of the procedure like uh, first uh, analyze the analyze the product and need our need after that go for the design next uh, selection of materials next uh, cost uh, like that and uh, re product re design after go for the manufacturing like this is a uh, one of the design procedure in this uh, topic we learn design procedure next uh, second uh, in this first chapter one of the another one is uh, bolts nuts and screws what is importance of uh, bolts nuts screws if you any like a uh, this is a uh, one of the plate okay this is another plate i want to join these two plates are two components we use a bolts nuts screws another joint also is there okay joints are divided to three types uh, two types one is a uh, permanent joints and a temporary joint in permanent joint we are using welding okay welding is there uh, one of the permanent joint temporary joints bolts nuts screws okay if you want to add join using permanent joint let's go for the welding let's go for the welding if you want join using temporary joint we go for the bolts nuts screws like a uh, temporary joint using bolts bolts nuts okay this is a bolts nut fitting in this one we are using the screws also there electrical equipment requirements or any like uh, temporary joints we are using bolts nuts screws okay how to design what are the uses of screws what are the nomenclature in this uh, in this topic screws 
nomenclature, cruise nomenclature, plates, different different types of plates are there. Next term, specification. What are the specifications? What are the specifications? Like a pitch, in screws, pitch is one of the specifications. And diameter, like that. Next term, coming to the design of nuts. How to design? What are the considerations? What are the types of nuts? In this one, mainly we are using two types. Okay, two types. One is an hexagonal nut and a square nut. We run these two also. Only these two. The hexagonal nut and a square nut. Next, coming to the design of bolts. Okay, we completed, um, screws are completed and nuts. After that, bolts. In this design of how to design, what are the specifications, what are the considerations in how to design for bowls, we are using, we are run in this chapter, design of bowls. In this bowls, we are using like uh, some of the important uh, bowls, like uh, example eye bolt is uh, one of the important bolt. Why we are using eye bolt? Lifting purpose. In motors, lifting purpose, we are using eye bolt. In this high bolt, what is the applications of high bolt? What are the considerations, specifications? Like uh, now, in this uh, using this high bolt and uh, nuts screws, we go for the no numerical problems. Okay, important problems only. Okay, next uh, go for the chapter two. In this chapter two is the most important chapter in. Uh, Design of machine elements. Why this is most important? If you transmit the power one one element to another element. Okay, like uh, example is there motor motor to another machine machine. We are using shaft. Okay, to transmit the power one 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 element to another element. Or uh, energy energy transmit the energy one. So one one machine to another machine. Okay, example propeller shaft. In vehicles, propeller shaft. We are using propeller shaft. Why we are using propeller shaft in heavy duty vehicles? Transfer the power gear box to differential. We are using propeller shaft. That is also one of the example of the shaft. Next step in this shaft, design of diameter for solid and hollow shaft. Shafts are divided two types. One is a solid, another one is hollow shaft. In using these two shafts, we transmit the power. Okay. In this one, what are the considerations? What are the force? What are the strengths that we are using? We are applying that is based on strength, based on strength and based on rigidity. Okay. Using these two. Strength, based on strength and rigidity, we go for the some of the important problems like the comparison of the solid and hollow shafts also. Okay, comparison of solid hollow. Okay, one of the comparison is in solids. This is the solid. In this solid shaft, only one diameter. Only one diameter. That is. Only one diameter. This is a solid, solid shaft. This is one of the comparison. If go for the hollow, hollow shaft, there is two diameters. That is the inner diameter, outer diameter. D not. D I. Inner diameter is denoted by D I. Outer diameter is denoted by D N. Using these two shafts, different different applications. Okay, different different machines we are using. Next, we go for the design of axle. Okay, shaft is shaft is transmitting element. Okay, trans and and supporting element also. It is support the bearings. What are the some of the gears and the pulleys? It is used to support the elements, machine elements, and example gear bearings, gears, and 
next full list after that design of axle why we use the axle axle is only supporting member it is not transmit the power one source to another source it is uh, transmit the shaft is transmit the power axle is not transmit the power okay next uh, see here uh, this is a most important topic in our second chapter chapter and first chapter is this is important ones okay next to go for Let's go for the one third chapter. In this uh, design of machine elements, the third chapter is keys and couplings. Already we know shafts. Okay, if you connecting the one shaft differential to or uh, gear bus gear bus to differential, we are using propeller shaft. If you transmit the power differential to or uh, gear bus to differential. We are using propeller shaft. In this connecting the propeller shaft, we are using some of the elements, keys and couplings. Mediator like a differential uh, gear box and the differential is there. In this gear box differential, like a, this is a gear box differential. In this one, we want to transmit the power propeller shaft using propeller. Shaft. This one connecting these two ends. We are using keys couplings. Okay, this part. This is a one of the example. Okay, in this chapter, what are the functions of keys? What are the types of keys? Okay, function. This is a one of the function. If you join any two elements, we are using keys to to prevent the vibrations if you join any two machine components to prevent the vibrations we are using keys next uh, types of keys in this types of keys uh, there are uh, different types of keys sunk key saddle keys and sunk keys uh, saddle keys again divided some of the important types okay let's see that next uh, uh, next classes next uh, splines specifications of splines okay splines what is spline okay this spline also prevent the vibrations okay next uh, what are the specifications of splines okay let next uh, design of a uh, rectangular circuit in the our syllabus we only we learn we discuss rectangular circuit okay next uh, couplings types of couplings applications okay we are using couplings also in this uh, purpose okay what are the types of couplings uh, next term uh, design of couplings how to design coupling what are the applications next term uh, go for the chapter 4 in this one bolts and gear drives okay these all are transmitting element energy transmitting elements like uh, shaft keys couplings uh, Next bolts, nuts, joining elements also. Okay, if you want to transmit the power, we are using bolts. Next, uh, these are temporary joints. Next, uh, gear drives. Gear drives also uh, to transmit the power one machine element to another machine element. Okay, in this gear drive, types of bolts in this uh, bolts. Uh, but what are the types of bolts and specifications? Next, uh, types of gear drives. okay gear drives mainly divided like a uh, example open no next gear in a commonly next gear so like a uh, helical gear so types are there next compound gear types are there there are so many important types of gears are there next we come design of bolts and gears next uh, chapter 5 in this chapter 5 bearings why we are using bearings Five years. These bearings are supporting uh, to support the any shafts. Like uh, if like a uh, long length of shaft is there. Like uh, this is one of the shaft. Uh, okay. To transfer the power energy one end to another end, one machine to another machine. This is a very long length of the shaft. That's why we want to 
support the this shaft like uh, this uh, one end and another end okay that we are using gears bearings next uh, types of bearings i types of bearings what are the types of bearings let's see next uh, design procedure okay in this one design procedure some of the important problems are so there next uh, last uh, chapter is uh, sixth chapter cams cams mainly one of the example cams engines engine valve open or close purpose okay engine engine piston we are using this cams cams open and close purpose of the valves okay next uh, types of cams applications okay some of the important problems also is there how to design cam cams what are the consideration what are the specification let's see again these these are the most important uh, points in our subjects our chapters like uh, third chapter is the uh, keys and couplings and uh, next uh, fifth chapter four the uh, bolts gear drives next uh, chapter five bearings and uh, chapter six cams and first chapter is introduction that is only introduction and bolts okay next is, uh, second chapter is shafts okay okay students this is our, our syllabus next uh, we go for the we go for the actually i completed this all those uh, our syllabus our subject next is, next class is revision okay revision in this revision part first chapter is uh, introduction we go for the introduction and uh, procedure design procedure after that second chapter shafts okay thank you